Ah, right. We're going powerboat racing. It's not something I've done for a while. Um, and it's a bit of a weird one. Lake Windermere. I suppose it's not that weird. But, making sure we're all locked up. The thing with powerboat rated racing is it has quite a long history in the UK. Unfortunately, it's more thing of the past. It's all a bit fragmented. And now these days, you just have tiny little groups that operate around, where well, is that unfair? Probably not. Tiny little groups that operate around clubs rather that um, try to keep the sport alive. So we're off to Lake Windermere, which is one of, hmm, it's got a good racing heritage. A few years ago, however, the uh, lake management district, I don't know, authorities decided they'd put a speed limit on it and um, pretty much killed any power boating economy around there. But for a few days a year, they allow power boat racing to happen. And that's where we're going. So I've just loaded up the car. Uh, seems to have taken far more crap than I need. But anyone who knows me knows that that's uh, not unusual. And now we have to go and meet Malcolm and uh, head up north. Morning. Morning. <laughs> I've arrived. This is our new boat, well, Malcolm's new boat, I should say. Cool. It's a pretty All right. basic. Yeah, nothing in it. Brand new engine. I don't know what's wrong with Malcolm, I used to respect him. Environmentally friendly. Environmentally friendly four stroke. <laughs> we have actually lost the plot. Cool, let's go. So a quick stop halfway for fuel. Um, see it's got a bag tank in this, uh, which worked quite nicely, low center of gravity and all that. We don't obviously want too much fuel, but we need enough to get us through practice and also enough to do the races. Windermere being in a bit in the middle of nowhere we sort of have to make a good guesstimate as to how much we need uh, so we're almost there not much longer where have we gone? so we're here Lake Windermere Malcolm's already freezing his ass off I'm running away from the camera. It's seven degrees apparently. I'm eating my skittles. Apparently it's curry night as well. What more could we ask for? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, ready for tomorrow. Here, check that now. That is not bad. Apparently the tide's in. Yeah. <laughs> so we're all good. All I can hear is a bird singing and water running down a river or a stream or something. Fantastic. <laughs> so here we are, Saturday morning. I think it's about 9 a.m. So we've just had the boat scrutineered. Uh, it's all good, except. We were missing a paddle. We didn't realise we needed a paddle, but we need a paddle. And Malcolm's gone out and found a paddle. <laughs> a navigator beater. A navigator beater. <laughs> so we're racing with a 2.1 litre Mercury four stroke engine. Um, if you like your engines, it's pretty straightforward to be fair. Four cylinders single overhead cam looks like eight valve two valve cylinder uh, exhaust manifold and the curious things with all boat engines is the exhaust manifolds are water cooled um the exhaust gas is obviously hot and that doesn't do much good for plastics and whatnot um 
so they put a water jacket on them and cools them down. I've not even looked at this engine before. There's your charge regulator and rectifier. Now you've got your inlet manifold side, quite a small throttle body to be fair, but these engines are apparently 115 horsepower, so they've got to hold them back somehow. Mechanical throttle linkage, plastic intake manifold with a bit of a nasty, well it's not 90 degrees, but it's pretty sharp. Obviously injectors, and that's about that. Uh, somewhat of an improvement in technology over the old Carbretta two-strokes, although not quite as exciting. There you go, you can hold that. Here's Malcolm and his prop. Now in the car world, we get to fiddle with things like gearbox ratios and, uh, you know, refine different tyres and different grips of tyres for different track conditions. In the boat world, we do exactly the same using props. Um, you can get, I can't never remember, you get props of different pitches and uh, Malcolm's one seems to be running all sorts of pitches. I'm sitting here kind of smiling to myself because his arm's starting to tire and he's going to drop <laughs> it in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had this pop sort of measured and at various points it's got different pitches, 24, 24, 26. And as it goes towards the edge, they have a little cup around the edge, so we've got like 30 and so on. He's had it lightened as well, just a little bit spark eroded around the edge. A multi spark. And does this prop work well? Extremely well. It works well. So there's, there's kind of secrecy within the world of boat racing and props. Um, so everyone has their own little favourite prop, but they don't really like telling everyone else about it until you get friendly with them, then they'll let their secrets go, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly sort of right. Happens like that. So um, he's had a little bit of work done on this, not too much, because he knows it runs well from last year. And we're going to give it a go today, um, and then hopefully win. Um, he's had a new bushings and stuff in, and we've eroded around the back, and I believe he's had it balanced. Is it balanced? Yes. It's been balanced. Lightened. From 5.7 kilos to 5.2 kilos. Yeah. And then just a rebalance. Cool. So they're quite valuable as well. That's why we don't leave them on the boat because if you leave them on the boat, sometimes you come back the next day and they're gone. Um, but we're going to go and put it on now. Nice. <laughs> a polished bit of wood. Reasonably tight. So the idea is we get the little tabs in the right place so we can tap them in without massively over tightening it. <laughs> And this uh, little contraption just stops the prop from spinning around and around in circles. Just cutting your hand on the blade, trying to yeah. hold it. Obviously, using the approved uh, chisel device. Yes. So the other thing we have when we're racing is the trim and what that allows us to do is change the uh, angle of the prop relative to the boat whilst driving. If it's a bit rough you might tilt it in, brings the front of the boat down and if you're trying to go faster you might trim out a bit and uh, get a bit more prop out of the water, and reduce pick the drag, yeah, pick the bow up and uh, disappear faster. And with that constant moving in and out of waves and hitting stuff. Yep. There's another thing that people like to do in a racing world, which is what Malcolm is doing now, which is where you bungee the engine. And that just basically keeps it pulled into the back of the boat. Stops it from jumping in and out. Yeah, takes some of the strain off the engine mounts. Um, I always thought it was a bit bizarre, but actually it does work. 
unless your motor's moving around. Yeah. Off, yeah, exactly. It, it's like taking the play out of your steering, or in this case, the trim. And that is the sound of a V6 trying to start, <laughs> which we've heard many, 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 many times. Many, many, many. Nice big flames Sounds there. Broty. <laughs> so we've got a boat in the water now. The sun is still shining. We've got a practice session coming up shortly. I shall attempt to get that with this camera. And then the um, timings should be all sorted out and our handicap time given to us, which then to win the rest of the day, we have to run as close as to that handicap as we possibly can. So driver's briefing time. This is where we get told what we can do, what we can't do, where we can go, where we can't go, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> anybody where is anybody missing? Put your hand up if you're not here. Thank you very much. Oh, already, so please have a look and see if you have any questions. Any other questions? No. Training starts in five yeah. minutes. Can we have a look for you? So we've been given our time. Our handicap is 126. That means between the slowest at the start of the race and when we start, they start 126 before us. The idea being that once we've all done the race, we all cross the finish line at the same time. Let's see how we're doing.
first race. <laughs> how do you think? I don't know how we did, but we, no we, 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 we made it back. I have no idea how we did it. Done with racing. Hi. Yeah. So we're all done. Now we've got to recover the boat. Somehow. Somehow. Thank you. Amazing. Brilliant. Brilliant.